In death, Ken Gibson's final approach to City Hall was much as it was in life, quiet and dignified. Order! An honor guard carried his flag-draped casket into the City Hall rotunda, where he was to lay in state as a way for Newarkers to pay their respects to the former city engineer who lifted Newark from out of its days of darkness following the unrest of 1967 and stitched it back together. Well, I love Ken Gibson. I love for what he did for me and more importantly, for what he did for the city of Newark. Before he unseated Gibson in 1986, Sharp James and Ken Gibson ran together as part of the community's choice ticket in 1970, a coalition born of a sense that Newark needed to move past its racial divide and come together. We were in a racial divide, uh, highest rate of infant mortality rate, police brutality, no housing being built, and he just changed the whole city, right? Changed the image, uh, the mentality, the hope and aspiration. He was truthfully a man for all seasons, for all people. The city's first black mayor, he famously said, wherever America's cities are going, Newark will get there first. But he was saddled with a tough national economy and lingering unemployment. He was criticized by some of his own supporters for catering to the city's corporate interests and not doing enough to attract new development to the city. Newark's population shrank by almost 100,000 during his tenure, but it was a period of political transition. And it was the time when it was white flight and black middle class, everybody ran from the city after the riots, and the government had made his mind up that since, quote unquote, black folk burned down the city, okay, we're not going to help them. We're just getting out of here. So Mayor Gibson had to really have strong leadership capabilities and got involved with the national and organizing mayors around the country to fight back just to get the kind of resources he need just to even lay a foundation to even survive in this city. As a kid, you know, I wasn't even a teenager. He was kind of larger than life. Former Councilman Darren Sharif's father, Carl, himself a bold-faced Newark political name, was an early Gibson aide. The younger Sharif said Gibson was a role model for him and for leaders to come. When you look at almost like the celebritization of politics now, right, it's about how many people you can tweet, how much you're on social media, I think there's a yearning for a person who is a critical thinker, because when you look at the underlying skills to be an engineer, you have to be a critical thinker, a problem solver, and then work the problem to a solution. And I would like to think that he brought all those skill sets um, to bear. A thoughtful mayor who led his city through tough times, making today's real renaissance part of his legacy. There will be a public funeral at Symphony Hall tonight, where if today's viewing is any indication, seemingly all of Newark will be on hand to say a final farewell to one of its most iconic figures. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.